I'd always been creating videos since I was really young on like VHS cameras. So once I found out like YouTube was around, you could upload and like people could watch, I just thought it was an awesome website. So I just started posting random videos. I think I wanted to reach out to other girls like myself um, that enjoys making things, um, creating stuff, and also like dressing up and shopping. Funnily enough, I did a video show called Ask Bonnie before YouTube even started. It was on something called the At Home Network, which was the first cable internet like network. I'm really old, so that's why I know all this. But you can find my show Ask Bonnie on YouTube because I put them all up there. But because I was doing stuff before YouTube and then when YouTube happened, I was like, oh my God, this is a great platform to just be a goofball online and do funny shows. And I've always done like public access and that sort of thing. So I thought it's just another avenue of public access, but it's like worldwide public access. I was actually, I was doing the um, acting route like the traditional way, like I was doing uh, independent films and student films. And then I came one day to work, to, I was working with this independent studio, and they ran out of money. And I, I was so irritated because I had a show with them. I just, my mom said, why don't you take your show to YouTube? That's right when like Lonely Girl 15 blew up, so. Okay, so I actually found it randomly. I was searching for a Halloween costume DIY kind of thing. And I saw it, and I was like, this is amazing, but I can't do it by myself. So I told her yes. she had to deal with me. I was totally game. Yeah. Honestly, I was just bored. I just wanted to do something fun. I never really thought it was going to turn into what it is today. So I just started doing it as a really fun hobby. I'd watched videos for like six months to a year before I actually started uploading myself. And I loved them, like totally addicted to them. I you know, was a big kind of fan of a lot of people now that I'm friends with, which is quite surreal. Um, and to be honest with you, it was actually my mum who kind of pushed me into it. I kind of wanted to start my own channel, but I was really nervous about what people would say. Um, and, you know, one day I told my mom about it. I showed her a review video of a product she wanted to buy. And she was like, you have to be doing this. You should do this. Set up a channel. And she kind of pushed me into it. She was like, you can do it. Um, so I did it. And I didn't tell anyone about it for about two weeks, apart from my boyfriend and my mom. And then I kind of gradually started telling people when when I realized people actually would like kind of watch, I remember getting 50 subscribers. It was like the best day of my life. <laughs> I didn't actually ever watch YouTube shows. Uh, I made My Truck Kitchen as a joke for a friend. And then the Green Brothers invited me to VidCon because they liked it. And then my entire life changed. And I love video production and editing. And I really love being creative. And for me, it was kind of an outlet of just making videos and making people laugh. But really, I started because I wanted to learn how to edit. So I started posting them and people started watching and they wanted more videos. I'm like, are you guys crazy? You really want more? So here we are, like a long time later. So I started uploading videos when I first started getting into makeup to kind of document my process with learning makeup. So it's kind of cool to see the very first video um, I did and then now I've definitely improved a lot and it's just my YouTube channel is just like my journey with makeup, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> Getting into YouTube wasn't a decision where I was like, this is a good idea, I'm gonna do this. It's, I had so much free time, I had just made a really big life change and I had lost all my old friends, so I didn't know what to do with my weekends and YouTube became like my friend replacement and making videos was kind of cool to see people comment back and feel like I had friends from I don't even know where across the world. I actually got mono uh, the summer before my senior year of high school. And my mom was like, you were on bed rest the whole summer, you need something to do. And I had a friend who made YouTube videos, and she's like, just film one. And I uploaded it from my MacBook, like straight that little camera, and I just uploaded it. And I was like, hi, my name's Megan, I have mono, and this is a beauty channel. I didn't even wear makeup back then, like I didn't know anything, but, and then it like kind of grew, and three years later, bam. I wanted to be like a TV presenter, so I went down to my local public access and I started doing a show, and then my cousin started putting the clips on YouTube, and it took off from there. I started my YouTube channel because I was actually at an event like this and I was able, I was lucky enough to meet some other YouTubers and they were the ones who encouraged me to start doing YouTube videos and I picked up the camera and the rest is history. I used to be in a circus and I used to juggle and I was trying to get some jobs as a juggler so I figured oh YouTube is a great place to post some of my content and then I discovered lots of personalities and I've thought to myself, well, I can do this. I'm a fun personality. Let's put me on YouTube.